I think me, as well as a lot of other people, have always thought in this climate change ordeal, why can't we just take the CO2 directly out of the air uh, so we can kind of have the best of both worlds, gas cars and uh, a clean environment? And there was never really a solution that I knew of until I came across a CNBC video that explained the process of direct air capture. So it's um, a really innovative way to do everything, and it's kind of the alternative to trees because you can't put trees everywhere, right? Um, so I was really excited when I first saw this. Now, uh, I wanted to get in on it. I wanted to try it myself, and I actually was able to get in contact with a few people at this company, Carbon Engineering. Uh, first, the lady who uh, I'm assuming is press or public relations or something, she emailed me back and she gave me a bunch of great information that's just available to the public on how all their technology works. And then later, I actually was able to email uh, the CEO, Steve Oldman, who is kind of who I'm making this video for. He told me if I ever got a version of my own working, to send him a video about it. And so this is basically what it's all about. So basically how this process works is a big fan that there's normally used on cooling towers and stuff brings a bunch of air through a solution. In this case, it is KOH, which is potassium hydroxide. And this chemically binds with the CO2. So you might remember this from high school chemistry, but uh, when there's an atom, there's basically eight electrons or so in this outer shell. I'm not explaining this 100%, but um, not everyone has eight electrons to make it stable. And uh, so once someone comes together with the right combination, like say seven and one, then they'll bind. So by feeding a bunch of CO2, you're able to make all these bonds, and then this can all be drained out for further processing. Every application of this uh, technology has been at a super large scale. There's all these industrial plants. So I want to make something small scale. And I also thought uh, this is a perfect way if someone wants to put it on their roof, or you could put it in like a city or somewhere where you can't have these large industrial scale plants. But my dad kind of showed me how things are done in a refinery. And so we thought if we could put the air at the bottom, it would naturally want to go to the top. And so we could send mist down here. So to make everything work, uh, we're going to need like some sort of cylinder or capsule to do it. And so uh, the thing I could think of that was cylinder was PVC pipe. So I just ended up picking up some PVC pipe. I glued a bunch of things together in a shape. I kind of look like this. Uh, and so it all ended up working out good. It's kind of a unique shape, but it gets everything done. You're able to put a fan in, and then you also have the space for the mister to come down. So now the next challenge was the mister and the pump that went along with it. So it took a lot of kind of experimenting to get it right with all these mist nozzles. It took a lot of trial and error, but we ended up after trying with sprinkler heads. Uh, I even went to Lowe's and picked up like some uh, power washer mist nozzles. Basically tried everything we could get that wasn't on Amazon, and then eventually we did go to Amazon, and that's where we found the ones that worked out. Then the next thing was to find a pump that went with it. So the original pump we got at Home Depot was too weak uh, to make it mist. It would just kind of drip out. Anyway, in the end, we ended up getting a pump that worked, but uh, it gets the job done. So now I started soldering kind of the electronics together for the fan. Now that we have the fan up uh, and the mist, everything is working. Uh, it was time to kind of get everything standing. So I ended up going to Home Depot, picking up some PVC pipe um, and making everything in this nice little box. So it kind of looks, it just looks nice. Right now the pump is uh, powered by a separate battery than the fan. You kind of got to plug everything in and turn everything on. But in the end it worked. When the fan was blowing and the water was coming in at the same time, a lot of it would flow out the top. We basically had to extend the column up top to uh, prevent everything from going out. We were officially ready to buy the chemicals, so we just got some food grade potassium hydroxide. One person that I kind of want to mention in this video, uh, I'll list his channel right here. Uh, he basically, um, I commented on a few of his videos, he's doing a similar thing. Definitely not like mine, but he is also really into doing the carbon capture himself. So now here comes to today, where it all comes together. So I opened up all this uh, KOH, I mixed it with water, and then I pumped it. My fan ended up burning out, so I had to resolder everything. So we did it one more time in a closed area. So I ended up getting some cardboard, uh, cutting some holes so we have a drainage. We could also plug and unplug the electronics from outside. And then I put saran wrap on top so we could keep track of the CO2. This is where the magic really happens. We started at around, it even at around 372 parts per million. It evened out around there. I turned everything on. I mixed up some new solution and then we started pumping it. And so immediately the numbers basically started to drop off. So it started dropping, dropping, dropping. I'm really happy with how things turned out. I'm really excited. I can't, I'm not showing now, it's been a long day, but I'm really excited that we were able to get this small scale direct air capture machine, whatever, working. So in this little bucket, basically, I have CO2 
taken out of the atmosphere. That's very minuscule amount, probably even less than one breath out of my mouth, but it's a lot less than nothing. I'm excited to keep iterating. I'll share all my progress with you. And to the CEO of Carbon Capture, who was so nice to respond to me, here's the video. Here's the proof that I got something working. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, I mean, I'd love to work with you guys in the future. Uh, hopefully maybe help you make a small scale consumer product. Also, I want to kind of send this out to a challenge. Jay Hugh Garcia, all these guys who helped me do the DIY power wall. I think this is totally a cool DIY project that's also environmentally friendly that a lot of people can get into. And I'm not the most knowledgeable, right? I'm only a teenager here. So if you have anything to share with me about any project that you even decide to do, or you have any ideas on what to do, comment down below or message me on Instagram. I'll put it up here. I'll be checking any requests I get on my DMs. That's it for today. I'll see you next time and make any progress. Peace.